Genesis chapter 50 verses 20. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. But God meant it for good to bring it about that many should be kept alive as they are today. As for you, you meant evil against me, but God meant it for good. Sometimes the standards of God is there. And instead of we rising to the standards of God, we in our imagination, we bring down the standards of God and we are very happy that we are attaining that standard. The standards of God are always high. The requirements of God is always high because the requirements and standards of God is kept in the word of God. That is why it is easy to preach. It is easy to sing. It is easy to tell others about the word of God. But the standard of God is there. And sometimes in our human weaknesses and imagination, we bring down the standard of God and we think we have attained it and we live a very Christianish happy life. And I believe that can be the greatest danger for us to see the glory of God beyond our blessing. I know many families, I know many people in my walk with the Lord, I've known people who carry the blessing of God, but the blessing doesn't carry the glory. A spirit-led life. The greatest example of a man who was led by the spirit and a man who was led by the flesh is Abraham and Lot. Abraham was led by the spirit of God. He was blessed. He had riches far more even imagine. The Bible says even the nation could not hold. The world could not hold the blessing of Abraham. That is how much Abraham was blessed. He was filled with the blessing of God. But in spite of all his blessings, he was tuned by the spirit of God. When God said move, he moved. When God said pitch your tent, he pitched his tent. His heart was after the voice of God or the presence of God. In contraday, Lot. You know, someone said Lot. You know, that's why he lost a lot. His name is so prophetic, Lot. He was close to Abraham. A spiritual man. He was close to the blessing of Abraham. But when it came with his choices, he took a very posh, green, prosperous place. Abraham's decisions were led by the spirit. Lord's decisions were led by his feelings and by what he can sense. Can I tell you a secret? You can be the greatest uh, spiritual Christian, but yet... The enemy can deceive you in your weakest carnal moments. You can speak in tongues for six hours. You can know ten prophets. You can be born in a Pentecostal church. It doesn't matter who you are. But in your weakest carnal moments, the enemy can deviate you just not from the blessing. You can be having a blessing, but you will miss the glory behind the blessing. Lord started well, but he lost. But in contrary, Abraham said, you take the left, I take the right. You take the right, I take the left. Let me tell you, just do whatever you want, guys. My blessing doesn't come from the real estate. My blessing doesn't come from any, any earthly resource. My blessing comes from my God. The Bible says, but. Imagine Joseph in his royal robes, standing in the palace, looking at his brothers who stripped him naked threw him into the pit in fact they wanted to kill Joseph and that Joseph is looking at his brothers and says hey what you meant for evil but God but God there is a season in our life where God will take you to a place of but God and when in that season you will see God vindicating you God restoring you God recalibrating you God blessing you God refurbishing you God beautifying you and I prophetically declare this morning may you walk into a season where you will say but God turned my morning into a dancing but God turned my desert into green pastures but God turned my weeping into a morning dancing but God